you know, I woke up this morning and due to my environmental situation, there was a song on my heart. And I'm sure all of y'all remember this song y'all was taught as kids. And I want y'all to kind of think about it. No matter what circumstance you in, what's going on around you right now, I want you to just focus on this. Remember this song? He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole world. In his hand, he's got the whole world. In his hand, he's got the whole wide world in his hand. He's got you and me, brother. In his hand, he's got you and me, brother. In his hand, he's got you and me, brother. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the little bitty baby. In his hand, he's got little bitty baby. In his hand, he's got the little bitty baby. In his hand, he's got the whole wide world in his hand. Yeah, yeah, that was one of the songs that was taught to me as a youth. And the older you get, when you understand that certain circumstances that you can't control, that you wish that you could, you have to understand that somebody, something is maintaining this ecosystem. So, whatever vision you have for life, whatever uh, thought process you have, just know that there's something bigger than you. And um, it's got the whole world in, in our hands. <laughs> yeah. So, good morning, good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, family, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to maintain, I'm, I'm having a lot of um, physical sadness going on in my environment. So y'all heard me do videos about my Uncle Jamie. Uh, unfortunately, well, I'm glad he's made his transition. So there's no more suffering for my uncle. And um, he made his transition. And, and I guess it's really freaking me out because last night as I was down there with my father and, um, you know, giving him food, actually, and talking to him, giving him some touch and letting him know that he's loved. He hasn't seen his brother in over 50 years. And um, he called out to him yesterday and it kind of surprised me. He goes, Jamie? Jamie? And uh, so it wouldn't surprise me if the end is near for him. Um, but I needed to do this to have full closure for our relationship and to bring it back home for us. So um, with that being said, So I'm going to get my um, self off of here right now and just begin to um, go into a little universal meditation. Um, like I said, I'm going through some very um, emotional environmental changes right now. You know, even dealing with, from my brother on, they have still no suspects in his murder. Um, so 2021 is going to keep me sane, keep me woke, keep me grateful, keep me enjoying this plane, and at the same time, trying to make it better inside my world. Okay? So with that being said, I just wanted to um, acknowledge my Uncle Jamie, give him a shout out, rest in peace. My Uncle Jamie was a good dude. 
He was crazy. He, he you know, I told y'all the story about my uncle Jamie. He got shot in the head. The bullet was still lodged in his temple. And when the police came in, into his house, he was walking around and they were just staring there looking at him. This is just the personality of my uncle. And the police were staring at him because they saw his blood running down his head. He got hit right above his temple. And my uncle is the original Bernie Mac. And he walks through the house. He's from Gary. <laughs> and the police was there. And he said, what's wrong with y'all? Y'all think this ketchup running down my head, motherfuckers? <laughs> All that while I had, I had a face full of blood. That's my Uncle James. That's my Uncle James. I love you, Unc. Rest in power. Until we meet again. See you later, family.